a wristwatch give you good luck or bad luck? That's a that's a really good question. In my case, there I've had I've seen sexual energy. I have seen good luck. Uh, yeah, so I gotta say I wouldn't. You know, I think there's equally equally you might get. It's not really bad luck if you care for these material goods. I love my material goods. I love the watches. I don't see how it can be bad. Never buy a Rolex because someone sold it in bankruptcy or divorce. So many, that used to be, that could have been the case years ago, but now they flip. Watches are so, there's a marketplace to flip them. So it, it's more likely it's got good energy than bad. So I'd never, ever consider that. And, you know, you make your own luck. Okay, you make your own luck. If you're going to have to rely on energy from other people, your life's a bit sort of crappy. So my honest advice is, yeah, embrace it a bit, but as long as you love the material goods, you care for them, and you, you know, everything will be fine. Okay, guys, that's my video on does buying a second-hand Rolex. You should never buy a second-hand Rolex. That's mumbo-jumbo. Everything I bought is second hand. Second hand, baby. Second hand. Okay, let's get on with the show. See you later, guys. Love you all. And remember, if you get bad luck, sell it to your enemy. Okie dokie. Okie dokalus. How do I turn that on? Oops. Hello? How do I turn that off? Does that new phone work there? Stop. Okie dokie. Okay, we've got to go do a live show. We're about to go live, guys. Let's go live in the studio. In the studio. Uh, I am I really want to go live and get this, this program off there. Guys, if you're a, if you're a captain, get on now. I'm just posting the link. Posting the link. JJ, Marco, I really want to see you on the channel. Let's get this program happening. Um, I got to tell you something, guys. We had an interesting GB, $2. Howdy from Texas, Pont. Thank you. And Marco is on the stream. How are you, Marco? Very well. How are you, Arch? I want to tell you something. I was a little bit upset with some of the comments yesterday about the Vacheron overseas. I got to tell you, I think I prefer Gen 2 over Gen 3. Ooh. I mean, listen, it, it comes down to taste and what do you assign as, I guess, uh, better value, right? Because if we're being honest, Gen 2 is definitely better value than Gen 3, right? I mean, it's not even a competition. But I think Actually, personally... let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. I've been watching Time P Gentleman Timepiece. I don't know if you know that guy. Yeah, Timepiece Gentleman. He's like the five foot buff guy. Yeah. Does he take steroids? <laughs> uh, I mean, he looks like he has gyno. You know what gynecomastia is? Yeah, he, I know. Brian he Ellison, might... fifteen bucks. Have a drink. It's Friday down under. Ooh, I think there you I go. will. Let me just call up a screen. I want to show you something. Tell me what you think here. So this is the this is the Gen Three, okay? This mm. is on timepiece. His prices are dear. I don't know. What do you think of his prices? Yeah, he's a little expensive. Let's be honest. With one he one. wants twenty thousand for this Vacheron. Look at the dial. There's no Guillaume dial there. Yeah, and it's a silver dial too. This is the least desirable model. Hey, what's up, guys? Three. Hey, Tim. We're just talking Vacheron, and. We're just, I'm a bit upset that you guys were bagging out the Gen 2. This Wait, is a Gen was? 3, and i got to yeah, be yeah, totally yeah. honest with you. AD never calling. Nice one, Arch. Great vid. $2. Thank you. Yeah, th we could get into that advice in a second. I like that advice, Arch. What advice is that? Oh, about not buying Rolex secondhand? Yes. What do you think of that? I think it depends what models you're looking to get, Arch. If you want like an Explorer or an Air King, 
I don't really see like these aren't hard to get models, but if you're like Mr. Two, you love the Hulk, you love the Pepsi, then yeah, sure. There's no point in going and paying like two hundred thousand dollars a year to get one hot steel sports model. You know, just pay the Piper, and ultimately exactly. you're going to get a much better deal. Now look at that. That's just a very plain watch. What Ooh. I don't understand with you guys. Let me mm -hmm. say this to you. You guys were very quick to bag out the Gen 2, right? The Gen 2 has such a more beautiful... Let me just call up the Gen 2 that I was talking about. Have a look at this. I want to mm -hmm. show you this. This is a Gen 2. Look at the dial on that. What the hell are you talking about? Look at that dial. No, no, applied, I said the dial is applied pretty crazy. In, applied Arabics, applied yep. logo. Mm -hmm. Look at the pattern. That's not a cheap Is that pattern. black polish on the hands and the num numbers? I'm not sh No, I don't think it is. But look at that. It is just beautiful. Mm. What do you think? No? Very complicated. What do you think? Listen, it's a great watch, Arch. In terms of value, I don't think there's there's any comparison that the Gen 2 is a much better value than the Gen 3. Personally, there's just certain things about the Gen 3 I prefer. So we're talking the ability to change the straps. That's one. The Sapphire case back, that's Doesn't, two. Can't you change the straps on the Gen 2? Uh, I, I don't know if you can do it on the fly, can you? No quick set, no. It came with extra straps, didn't they, or not, the Gen 2? I, I'm not 100% sure. I, I, I'd be the wrong person to ask, Arch. Okay, no, keep going. So. Keep, talk to me, talk to me. Yeah, so there's that. There's also um, the fact that, uh, what's it called? So we said the, the ability to change the straps, the Sapphire case back, and I like the plate on um, the Gen 3, on the bezel of the Gen 3. I think it really does make a difference. And also, as far as I know, hold on, I'm just looking it up on Watchbase. And I'm pretty sure they're using in the Gen Two. They're using a a JLC, a modified JLC. Yes, it's a modified. Caliber. What's wrong with JLC, Bob? Is that no, caliber? nothing, nothing. Versus the Gen Three, which is a in-house caliber. But I don't know if it's is it Geneva. Yeah, this is still the same movement? people. These are the same people who go and use a Cartier movement in a Vacheron <laughs> Fifty Six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got it. I got it. But at least Gen Three is technically an in-house movement, right? It's a true in-house movement. It's got a Geneva seal case and a Geneva seal movement. I don't know if it's a Geneva seal case and movement on the, the Gen 2. So I guess those Joe are... Joe Kramer, five bucks. Arch, help me. I have buyer's remorse. Bought a naked Rolex sub from 89 for 9,000. Decent condition, but I think I might return it. Thoughts? 89, that's actually a, that's actually a pretty early... Um, so that's a date or no date to be a 16, 6, 10 or a 14, oh, actually an 89 no date would be a, it'd be a 5513 because they, they changed in 90, I think. So it'd be a date sub. Um, those, those, is, it, is it tritium? He hasn't told me. Are the hands tritium? The dial tritium? Is it all tritium piece? I it depends tell you on the it. condition. If the condition is outstanding, it's okay. Yeah. I just want to pull up and say hello to Mr. Sakahon! Listen, I'd say this, Joe. If if you're having buyer's remorse, it's because... Okay, there we go. I would say, I mean, it depends what the, the, the return policy is, right? Give it give it a, a couple days. See how it shakes out. It's like Arch with the Explorer 2, right? At first, yep. you didn't love it, and now you yep. love the Explorer 2, as far as I know, exactly. right? So wait a couple of days, see how it shakes out. If it's in good conditions, then I would say that's that's already a plus. But, I mean, listen, if you don't like it and you don't feel like it's good addition to your collection, then, yeah, return it, man. Joe Kramer, five mm. bucks. Archie, oh, help this. me. It's this Sorry. One. Ooh. Bear Clooney, $2. I have Gen 2 and Gen 3. Gen 3 is superior by far. Ah. Yeah, this is when they went all out, but it's uh, far more expensive. Yeah, we can hardly yeah. hear you, Tim. You're a bit quiet today. Can you hear him, Marco? Yeah, he's quieter than usual, though. Can you hear me now? Yeah, that's best. Oh, okay. I just have to uh, talk closer into the mic. 
Oh, I was sorry. saying, JJ, like, how are you? JJ, how look good. AC3, what's going on, fellas? How yeah, are I'm you? a bit upset about this Gen 3, Gen 2. Look at the dial work on the Gen 2. Right, but it's a sports model. Does it need all that decoration, or do you want it right. to be? Do you want it to be streamlined and sporty? Mm -hmm. you no. Know? There's a reason Porsche doesn't have the same detail as a Maybach, right? It's a sports vehicle. Hmm. Ooh, it's I like gotta you're tell paying you, all that I extra gotta money. I got to tell you, it's also. But look at the IWC Ingenua. That's got the beautiful, delicate dial done. Mm -hmm. I love. I love. Laziness should never be rewarded. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still got a nice sun sunburst pattern. To be fair, Arch. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but I, I'm just saying to you guys, I I just find it, look, I, I got to be totally honest with you there, I would be very careful with any, I would be very careful buying any Vacheron, they are, what happens when Gen 4 comes out? Yeah, uh, buy and hold, buy and hold. Th that blue, dial, buy and hold. That blue <laughs> dial makes me smile. Are you going to pay retail, Bart? I would pay retail for that, absolutely, if I could get one. What? The Vacheron? Right. They're going for 10000 over retail, aren't they? I don't know if it's that much. Yeah. And you just know, because money... someone asks 10000 doesn't mean they're selling at that price over. Right, right. Have you I guys can... watched Timepiece Gentleman? What's what's the go with him? Hmm. Timepiece Gentleman? Never Refresh me on that guy. I he mean, sounds he's familiar. always eating fast food, but he looks buff. How does that work? Yeah. he He's Jeez. got... Yeah, I mean, that's what I was telling JJ, or I was telling Arch JJ. He, he looks like he, I mean, he looks like he has, you know what gyno is? That when you get the breasts like a woman. Yeah, exactly. He looks like he has gyno a little bit. It's like when you get female breasts, like. You know what that's from? That's from, that's from taking too much testosterone. Exactly. Uh, you know, like um, supplement. And then your body tries to balance out and it gives you a ton of estrogen and it gives you man boobs. Exactly. That's what it looks like he has sometimes, but. Listen, I'm not going to claim guy. someone is unnatural fit. without any proof. I don't, think oh, that's I, I don't know if he's doing it. I'm just explaining. Yeah, here we go. Joe is. Kramer, five bucks. Also, when I walked into my second AD, they had no, two no-date subs, 40 mil. Slap one on the wrist, and it was too big for a 16-inch wrist. Damn it all. Wow. Uh, this is getting a bit he's getting a bit fussy you know what in the old days people would be happy you know <laughs> they would be happy wouldn't they they, they just they don't care now everyone gets so angry about things 40 mil oh. is a pretty universal size i don't really hear many people yeah. complaining about it on a sports model yeah i i gotta be totally honest with you i think um i think there's, there's it look there's not much it, it it's i think he maybe for him the 41 would be perfect because it's it's the proportions it's not just the size remember that okay it's the proportions it's how you use it exactly exactly paul two euros 30 arch is marco your son hey hey <laughs> He's a lovely boy. I'd gladly have him as a son any day of the week. He's a great guy. He's great. Would you borrow from his four hundred one k? Sorry. I said, would you borrow from his four hundred one k? Yeah. Why not? I would. I would. <laughs> He's got plenty of time to put it back. You know. No, yeah. I worked hard for that money. Okay, <laughs> and I invested well, JJ. Come on, man. You gotta treat your dad right. Bitcoin, Bitcoin's nearly Bitcoin's gone up. You see this now? Of course, I see it. I own it. <laughs> it's almost fifty thousand. How many bitcoins have you got? Oh, I'd rather, I'd rather oh, don't not say, say it live on air. Yeah, I don't want to say it. Yeah, don't say it live on air. I'll just say this: I have bitcoins. <laughs> but you know, it's all crypto garbage, don't, crypto crap, don't you? Yeah, but Arch, this thing is gonna rock it. I'm telling you. Uh, you know what I did, Arch? Being that you can't travel, I put my Vegas money. You know Vegas money? I put my Vegas money in there. Plus, I had some from back when it dropped, you know, a couple of years back when it was like five, you know, 6000 somewhere in there. GB, $2, is a Black Bay 58 too small for an 8.2-inch wrist? 
No, because it, it's 39 mils. It's almost 40, you know? It just, it's it's not so much. See, people get the wrong proportions worked out. It's the height of the It's the, more the lug to lug that's important. So By the way, to... guys, I got a paddock out. One paddock, Ooh. five, one, two, seven. Nice. Hold on, let's put that's... that full screen, Arch. Yeah. Give five, us a whist watch one. check. Look at that, guys. Well, now it looks small. Paddock and pussy. <laughs> What happened? You got tired of wearing the Explorer 2 every day? Yeah, just <laughs> show thought, it to you us. You know what? Actually, put them next to each other. <laughs> Very nice. That's well, because your face is in. No, the... It's not doing it. It's, it's doing. Oh, yeah, on. it's, it's not Tim's camera. Arch, there you go. Ooh. Careful, you don't scratch it. <laughs> Bang it no, up no, so close. Cool. Near enough. Is good enough. There you go, guys. I love this watch. It's on the deployment. You know what, JJ? These watches are for my enjoyment. No point just keeping them in the. I mean, look after them. Don't, don't mix. That looks gorgeous. Don't mix concrete with them, but right. They're made for wearing, aren't they? What do you think? Absolutely. I wear... Arch, did you take that drink, by the way, from Brian Allison? Yes, I did. Thank you. Okay, great. Drink up, so big boy. Sorry, I just want to make sure. <laughs> I I will wear any watch at any time. You know, appropriate time, of course, but. I never say like, oh no, I don't want to wear this today. Uh, what if something goes wrong? Or what if someone mugs me? I mean, that's not a way to live. You got to enjoy your stuff. If someone mugs me, you'd, you'd punch the shit out of them. They'd be dead. <laughs> you got to hope they mug you. Hit him with your briefcase, Arch. Hit him with your briefcase. Yeah. I don't see you giving up stuff. It, well, I suppose it depends if they got a big, nasty, sharp knife, right. doesn't it? I would well, give it up right away. If they have, if they have a Here pistol, goes, they're gonna have whatever they want. Do they have Easy pistols? Do they, like people get robbed in them? Yes, they do. You guys have guns, don't you? In New York? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, you know, it's not like Texas where everyone has guns, so someone's a little less likely to stick you up in an alley because you'll probably shoot them back. In New York, you can't really walk around with a gun legally, so you're kind of screwed, you know, yeah, just, a, I was just, a... <laughs> just the bad guys. Just the bad guys. somebody. Right. Uh, you know, it's not the guns that I'm afraid of. You know, I was once on the train oh boy, and uh, a bunch of... Oh, okay, sorry. We can a bunch hardly of guys hear you, ran Tim. Into... Talk louder. Something's can you, wrong Okay, there. can you hear me now? Yeah, we can, but it's not that. It, it's the volume is soft, Tim. All this technology, it never works. You know, can you I hear me better now? A little bit. What happened on the train? How about now? The Puerto Ricans came on. What happened? <laughs> Is that what you said? Talk to us, Tim. Yeah, oh, no yeah, no. So I was on the train, and uh, I didn't say Puerto Ricans. I said uh, some guys ran into the bus, uh, not the bus, the train, and started beating everybody. You know, what? just going one by one from 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 the other end of the train to my side. So what Luckily, did you get off? yeah, yeah. I was my my name. You know, I was next. You know, to, so I, I was getting like psychologically ready. All right, all right, I'm gonna take it like this. Uh, yeah. So what happened? You got off in time? No, no, no. And it was also the train was going over the the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh Don't no, they no. They have an but, emergency alarm you can ring on the train or what? Yeah, but it was just it takes so long. It was it was like ten years ago. You know, everybody was just getting their ass beaten. Why? Uh, <laughs> Why don't you just like team up? They're getting everyone. Yeah, seriously. I mean. Yeah, no, there was not that many people on the train, and mm. everybody was sitting really, sp you know, spread out. So, and they started all the way on the other side, you know, and <laughs> and but but I, I you know, I would I wanted to like leave the train the, this cart that was getting its ass whooped, but unfortunately one of the guys he blocked off that entrance, so I was just. Sitting like I look over here, I was like, ah, oh, I got you, got you, okay. Uh, they're coming, all right, all right. But they 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 took really long time with this one Asian kid, so <laughs> he got it, he got it for both of us, unfortunately. All right, that's enough for one day. Did you help him out? <laughs> Rory Collins. Enough yeah, story. It's crazy, you. guys. I I take that same the same subway as Tim. I've never seen that happen in 20 years on the subway. Rory no one's ever. Collins. Two dollars. Arch, thoughts on the Breitling Y one seven three nine three one six one. I have no. I can idea. pull it up for you, Arch. Yeah, pull I'm it up. Please. Be trained. I got it. I was already ready and waiting. There you go, Thank Arch. You. 
44 mil Subaru. <laughs> what do we think, guys? Uh... Oh, it's a ceramic bezel. It's a nice watch. I think there are better buys out there, Arch. I got to yeah, tell you. It's a Super Ocean. 44 ceramic? mil. Yeah, I think so. It's ceramic. Uh... It's not a bargain. Yeah, it, look, it's not a terrible watch, but it's not a great watch. Yeah, like a 44 mil. If you want to pull off a big watch, why not just get a deep sea, you know? What's the price in there? No idea. Here, let's pull it oh, up. They let's... tank. They tank. It's anything. Anything Breitling tanks. Because uh, remember, on my show, we had a guy who, uh, who wanted to buy one of these for like 3000 I know 3, a watch dealer who just traded in a less than one, one year old Navi timer. He paid 11 oh. Aussie for it. The dealer gave him four. Four Aussie. Four. Wow. Got another dealers. super chat. Here we go. Ryan and Nick lawnmower repair. Two dollars. <laughs> Can a non rapper wear an AP fifteen seven ten? What's a fifteen seven ten? I got one. it. I'll Let's pull get it up. This baby up. Let's get this baby up. There you go. AP Diver. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the Diver. The Diver's a great watch. I love them, actually. I think mm. they're really cool. Yeah, right. yeah, it's a great watch. Plus, it's it's a little, I mean, it's big, you know, like it's a little like, you know, people will notice it, but it's got a rubber strap. It's not like it's all full of diamonds or something My like that. My question is, was that helium escape valve necessary? I don't, I don't get that. Uh, I think it's, isn't it for the inner rotating bezel? I don't think it's for yes, the. Yes, you're right. It is. I, I think, think it's, it's for the, the diesel. Yes. 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 Look, it's, it's, it's nicely done. You know what I mean? It is really mm. nicely done. But I, I, I think the sub is the iconic diver, isn't it? You know what mm. I mean? Yeah. Stay away but from false is, profits, right? I think there are it's, better configurations of that watch. The yeah, chronograph one okay. is a little more. Yeah, mm -hmm. but the. I, the chronograph ones are so expensive to service. They're so yeah. fiddly. Marcus, two right. euros thirty. Archie, what do you think of gold plated? I hate absolutely. That's the mortal sin. <laughs> gold plated watches, garbage. What do you think? Gold plated. I hate gold plated watches. One hundred percent. Isn't that your guy, uh, the fashion line guy, or that's different? Wasn't him, Marcus? The guy oh, that comes no, on MD Fashion Co. Right? That's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But the stud, five bucks. Pull up the ultra light Seamaster from Amiga and please explain why this watch is forty nine thousand. <laughs> yeah. So why is this watch forty nine thousand? That's ridiculous. I think it's yeah. like it has no crown, right? If I'm not mistaken. No, it, it, it's like it, it a pops out. Crown. You have to click. Yeah, hit, hit. Yeah, let's pull up the Hodinky article. Let's yeah, find out yeah, why. Good, good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got like in-house movement. I think it's manual wind. It's like the lightest watch they were trying to make. Okay, so it's fifty-five grams. What's it made of? Uh, titanium or what? Gamma so titanium. Okay. Gamma titanium. So it's it's an alloy, I'm assuming. Okay, so this is the crown. It's like a push-in crown, so you can't even see it. Yeah. On a rubber strap. Rubber. Oh Caliber 89.8. What are they going for on Chrono 24 now? Let's pull it up. How could this be 49,000? I don't, I don't see it. I don't even see 5,000, really, do you? There's none, there's none available because no one wants them. No. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I got to tell you, Art. Are they, su case. are they super limited? Like, is that why? I mean, I can't see how. I mean, I don't think it's more than. It's limited by the money. I don't it's think more than it's four probably, or 5,000. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't understand it. Wouldn't you buy a Patek if you wanted to spend 50,000? I mean, it's oh, a yeah. diver, but like, why would you spend that much on a diver? It's just insane. No, I don't think that's a diver. Oh yeah, it's it definitely a diver. No, no, no. It it's kind of trendy, you know. It's just like you know they're trying to make the lightest watch possible. Hold 
you know that's the trick you know that's the that's the complication how light can we make it just wear a quartz wouldn't you yeah I mean, it's manual wire it's weird it's weird it's very weird idea. yeah i'm i'm not a fan not no. a fan at all um, oh as well arch it's like uh you know the russian mill bubba watson where you can play yes. golf with it it absorbs yes. shock apparently th it does too so you can play golf golf with that watch so it absorbs shock very well i mean you're gonna pay fifty thousand dollars for that for a watch that can so, absorb shocks i mean just take so, the so is that off. like is so that like Amiga's answer to Richard Mille? Yeah, maybe. Like I, mean, I, don't their... I think they try to release these Entry ridiculously into expensive things just because they, you know. When was this released? Uh, 2019. August yeah. 27, 2019. They'll get a pass for that. The, the, M the MSRP is 48,600. 150 meter water resistance. Titanium case. Much. Right. 41 mil. I don't know. They call it, they market it as the ultimate the ultimate athlete's watch. Yeah. Whatever that means. I guess it's their answer to Richard Mill. That's what it is. Would you ever consider getting a Richard Mill, guys? No. What about you, Tim? You you have the money and the connections. <laughs> no, I just JJ, I, would you it does would nothing you ever get for a Richard me. Mill? No, no, I don't. It's not my type of watch. I don't even really desire them. You know, like I, I, I actually, you know, JJ, for logically I, speaking, they're a good watch, though, Arch. Oh, definitely, they're beautiful. I've, I've held a few. Well, it's not just, it's not just their case, Arch. Their movement, they source their movement from uh, the AP manufacturer. It's called Renault and Poppy, that's owned yes. now by AP. And like a yes. lot of the independent watchmakers came from there, like the Grunefeld brothers, Rubel Forsey. They're a really renowned watchmaking company in terms of their movements, and they source the majority of their movements from them. So in terms of the watchmaking inside, it's very good, but I mean, the price they're going for, it's a little crazy. I just wouldn't and, spend that much money on that style of watch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's I mean, for super that, celebrities. If you want that crazy style, you just go for a Royal Oak Offshore, wouldn't you? Yeah, exactly. Right. If, if you want that allowed watch. I mean, that... Uh, Listen, if if you're Floyd Mayweather and you have fifty mm -hmm. million a fight, you know, maybe you buy one for fun just to like mess around. Like that's like the ultra rich man's swatch, you know. Outside, aesthetically, aesthetically, anyway. I know a lot goes into uh, making it, but just the look if of it. If I was I Ed Sheeran, that's yeah. what I would be buying. I just wouldn't wear that. I don't care how much money I have. It's just not my style. I feel like By it's goofy. By the way, there's goofy. an Ed Sheeran Tudor. Would you buy the Ed Sheeran Tudor for 50000 Yeah, 50000 Now, Now, yeah, that's, the, that, you that's the debate. Would sure, you buy... pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. That's the debate. If you had to spend fifty, would you buy that Omega or would you buy Omega. the Ed Sheeran? The Ed Sheeran yeah, that's, that's, I'll that's take the Omega. Omega. Just, are, are we sure we want to give him some free advertisement like that? I don't care. Bring it up. Bring it up. Yeah, bring it up. Ryan and Nick lawnmower repair two dollars. Can a corporate lawnmower man sport a yellow gold day date forty? Do it. As long as he's not cutting the grass. You don't want to damage your watch. It gets it, very easy to get damaged. Right. But, Just um, get the get the one with the green dial so it represents your business. The grass. Here we go, Dennis. Oh, here we go. Dennis Valachi, five bucks. Arch, I have a heap of Rolex and looking at a Doxa Sub 300 for fun. What are your thoughts and what color would you go for on rubber? I, I wouldn't buy a Doxa. You got Rolex? Get a you just, just that's it. Why get would a you tutor. Need... Get a tutor if you want something to beat around. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Get a tutor. I'll just have a look at this here. Rare. Whoa. Rare. I'll just take that off for a minute. Rare Tudor Black Bay Ed Sheeran. Now, who that? I don't even like Ed Sheeran. Do you see that good a singer? Yeah, he makes good breakup songs for sixteen-year-old teenagers. You know, like good for female teenagers. That's... Fifty thousand hmm. dollars. You're literally paying forty-five thousand more for that little blue equal sign, whatever that is. Division. Yeah, division. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been at school. I haven't been in school in a long time. <laughs> Come on, JJ. Division yeah, no, sign. No, no, no. He, he, he's he's uh. Jeff Strite Matter, five bucks. Ed Sheeran Tudor, fike me dead. It's 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 ridiculous. By the way, guys, can I can I share a secret with you? 
Yes. Sure. No one's watching. Okay. Okay. You know my old man, right? Yeah. He's a bit stir crazy. I'm going to give him the elite broadcasting channel just to let him make videos on. Wow. What do you think of that Ooh. idea? It's pretty cool. Yeah, do it. Why not? Yeah, because he just, you know, he just wants a little bit of an earner. Hmm. Arch, State look at this one. This is probably better and more collectible tuner. It's a state of Qatar dial. And don't forget what happened to our Australian women who were stranded at Qatar airport. I just want to bring this up. They were forced to have an internal examination because a baby was found in the washroom. So all the women at the airport just want to say this to anyone from Qatar there. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. I, I'd, I'd never go to Qatar. That's a disgrace. Mm. Everyone was forced to have a medical examination. It's just these people in the Middle East, I tell you what, you want to be treated like humans, you got to start you got to start behaving like humans. What they did was a disgrace. I just want to add that there. The state of Qatar, good airline, but I'm just disappointed in what you guys did there. But I, I don't get any of that stuff. E even the, you know, the, the, the Harrods Tudor. Do you like the Harrods or the Boucher? It yeah, is, the Harrods is nice. It's weird. Yeah, it's I don't like that. Guys, can you like the stream? Like, comment, and subscribe, please? Exactly. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm just going to go to a toilet break. You guys keep mm. talking there. Sponsored by JJ Lacoute. <laughs> I know I owe a lot on that bill, man. I've been uh, <laughs> got to get this. Uh... David S W. What's on the David S W? We got something there, Marco. What do we got there, David? Oh yeah, SW. I'm pulling up. Apparently, they have a state of Qatar dial tutor. I want to see how much okay. it goes for. Yeah, yeah, let's have a look. I'll just have a look. He's got some great stuff. There it know. is. Ooh, ten, 10 grand. 000. Ten grand's not terrible, is it? Yeah, I think it's I'll got good that. investment potential. Because Qatar, or at least the Middle East, is probably one of the most booming watch markets in the world, right? Yeah, but they usually buy watches that are a lot more money. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, whenever you get Arabic branded dials, I mean, those always, especially from Rolex, anything from Rolex or Tudor, it's right. pretty collectible long term. Anyways, I just wanted to pull that up to show people. Pretty cool, pretty cool. They, I, I wouldn't I think get it to they be spot they call it um, cutter, I think. That's how they really say it. I don't know. I could be wrong about that, but that's what, that's what I thought. Mm. Cutter. Go. All right, what guys. Do you think, let's, JJ? Let's ex I'm, I'm going to experiment here and see if I could super chat yeah. to Arch. JJ, Arch wasn't happy that we, we recommended the Gen 3 overseas over the Gen 2. What do you think, man? Listen, it is what it is. It's a better watch. I mean, yeah. there's a it's reason it's... Cool. I mean, I don't know if I would pay the extra to get the Gen 3, to be honest. Listen, better value, it's the Gen 2. What's a better yeah. watch? No no discussion, it's the Gen 3. But for that value, you can get another watch. You can get like a 3 watch. What's the, what's the price discrepancy? Yeah, but you can sure? get a VC blue dial at retail. It, there's a wait list, but I mean, you can get on the wait list. Yeah. No, they, but, they'll get you the watch, but I mean, most people, let's be honest, in the stream are waiting patiently for rolex why not wait for for vacheron you know that's crazy waiting on the waiting list for vacheron yeah well i mean it's a desirable model right it's a steel sports it watch of course it's a steel sports watch with the blue dial those are pretty much uh it's liquid gold in the watch industry nowadays man i didn't re i didn't realize personally that's i crazy. prefer the gen 3 overseas to the royal oak and the uh, and the Nautilus. Oh, I think I fixed it. It's just one man's opinion. Oh, did it work? Kurt, oh, I don't see. know. Is it coming up? No. It, I I had it. Oh, you did. There we go, wow. guys. Bathroom break. JJ Lacoute, four bucks. <laughs> right, leave it. Break leave it as a surprise. Leave it as a surprise for him before he comes back. Yes, yeah, sir. Let's pull this one. Let's pull this baby up. Look at that. Mm. Look at that. Wait, right, take it off the look screen. At... You're, you're missing the point of surprise if you're leaving it on the screen. <laughs> okay. Mm. Not bad, not bad. 
Look at this. Look at this difference, guys. We're back in business. Yeah, what's the difference? Uh, Look at the difference. Ooh, I gotta say, I like the old one better. What Are you out of your mind? I'm no sorry. Way. The way that plate sits under the dial is uh, under that bezel is Whoa. much nicer. Guys, I want to find a one. If, no, 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 bring it up. Bring it up again. Bring it up. Here. I, I want yeah, to see what, the... what people think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's do a, 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 a one two test. Hey, guys. Yeah, yeah. Type one if you like the new one. Type two if you like the old one. Man, I really like the old one. Wow. Especially in blue. What what did they do with the lugs? It just looks ugly now. <laughs> oh my god. Bear is great. <laughs> Jeez. Let's see. All A right. lot of people like the the new one, but a few a few odd ones like the old one as well. What would you say, Tim? Is it two to one? <laughs> uh it's three. <laughs> No, no, it's three to one, I think. Three to one. <laughs> it was a joke. It's like Tim, ten you... to one. It's demolished. No, no. They... Oh, it was a joke, Tim. Like two to one because you use twos and ones. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, what are we looking hey. at here? Gen three versus hey. Gen two overseas. Look at that arch. Archie, right, which one you like more, the new one I or the old one? Totally honest with you, I prefer the Gen two. Hold well, on, let's I catch like up on the these super chats. That's what I J J Lacoot. Four bucks. Bathroom re leak. Bra bathroom break. Sponsored by <laughs> JJ LeCoult. I finally <laughs> fixed it. Jim Coolis. Five dollars fifty. Arch pull up. The Patex on Vintage Watch Co. We'll look at that in a minute. Very oh, soon. Sorry. Sorry. I was gonna pull it up for you. My bad. My oh, okay. Bad. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. Da 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 da. I already had it pulled up for you, Arch. There you go. Ah, this is a gorgeous you. reference. Oh, actually, look at this that. This came on the. This came on the bracelet. Let's pull it up. This comes on the bracelet too, if I'm not mistaken, right, Arch? Uh, different reference. Different reference. Okay, because this is the but, same movement as the 5712, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, that's right. That's the 240 micro rotor. Look at that. The guys. thing is, it's a bit small. That's the problem. It's 35 mils. Let's take a look. 36. Well, he reckons 36, but it's 35. Okay. <laughs> it's 35 mils uh yeah bits but mind you it's 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 a it's and the look at the just exit out of that one i tell you the one i really like he's got look at the chronograph that's the one i really want yeah the last of the last lamagna base right yes the 507 5070 57. yep look at that 86 i think his Ooh. price look at that guys look at this movement Ooh. yeah yeah, Lamania. Um, yeah, look at I that want big that. balance wheel. My goodness. Yeah, if someone you. could buy that for me, I would be eternally <laughs> grateful. <laughs> What's the address where to send it? Yeah. Um, look, that that is a beautiful watch. What do you think? That is it. JJ, JJ, that is it. Do you understand? So right, expensive. right. I agree. It is. It is. It's just uh, out of my range, you know. Like Arch, I got to tell you. Between no, it's this... not. If you sold everything off, JJ, got rid of the <laughs> stupid coins. That's Aussie dollars, by the way, too. That's not American. Yeah. Arch, What's what that? do you reckon? You reckon fifty-one seventy or fifty seventy? Because the fifty-one seventy has the in-house caliber, right? Yeah. No. No. I look, always fifty seventy. Always. Yeah. Of it's course, more it's collectible. Mil. It's forty-two yeah. mil. Mm. And I love this. This dial is beautiful with the applied arabics. It's just. Superb. Yeah, but you can I get the would... chunky. You can get the, the problem I've got is if you bought that, it doesn't have papers. It's got an extract. Okay. Let's take a look. Mm. Hold on. Oh, come on. <laughs> that's that's him ringing you, Arch. He's <laughs> ringing you now. <laughs> <laughs> look, I I I think. In the last line there, swing tag and certificate of archives, circa oh. 2007. There you go. How did someone lose the certificate of origin? How does someone? <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it, it is absolutely beautiful. Now, would you trade your paddocks for this? Now, the problem is he'd give me wholesale and wants high retail for his. Well, would you sell all yours and buy this? 
but mm. I couldn't do it in time, could I? So say say so. Let's just do a quick few quick sums here, okay? Let's do a few quick sums. Mm. Okay, so I got thirty two five for the six thousand and six. Yeah. Plus, mm -hmm. I got for the five one two seven. Say I got twenty five thousand for that. Plus, I got another. Thirty thousand for the five one nine six. Plus right. another three thousand for the deployment buckle because I could sell that separately. Plus the five one nine six, and we're doing this in Aussie dollars to keep it. Right, Say thirty thousand. Twenty one thousand for that. It's twenty. Eighty one thousand five hundred. Yeah, it's because you probably give me a little bit off that price as well. I could swing it. Would you do it? I mean, it'll pack a lot of punch in one shot instead of wearing it on three different... It depends. Is it more important to have a versatile collection or would you rather have a compact collection with a lot of punch? Mm -hmm. Arch, yeah, this is an endgame watch. Awesome. You got to do it, man. Get to 50-70. Oh, man. Uh, the problem is I'd have to wholesale my stuff out. Yeah, just wait. Yeah, but wait till you can go to... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess Asia is probably a better place to sell paddocks, right? Uh, I don't know if I could be bothered. You know that, really? <laughs> Come on, Arch. Like, would you rather have one watch this expensive, or would you rather say I have five paddocks? Five paddocks. Right. So. <laughs> but I, I love see, I love the five. I love the six zero zero six. It's such a unique paddock. Right. Yeah, I but love... then you could sell the world time. Sell the world time. The five one. No, keep the. Actually, yeah, sell the world time and sell the annual calendar. And you'll probably make up almost, or you'd have to sell maybe one more, like a 5127. No, I still need to, need to sell the 5196 as well. Right. Yeah. That would still well, be some, some three-piece you'd have. The... Yeah, I know, I know. Look, look, I'm never happy. You know, you know what? I think <laughs> the thing is I've got all my boxes. I've got all the stuff. I yeah. don't really want to... I don't really want to. How do I put it? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. It's a good decision, but ah, uh, Anthony Napoli, five dollars. Come on, big boy, pull the trigger. You only live once. Listen, I'd say take some time to reflect on the urge. Don't don't start making decisions on. I yeah. hate consignment. Think it through. You know, I hate consignment. I don't like to consign. What if he told you with no selling involved, he would just trade you straight up nah, your world time? He, he doesn't have confidence oh. in Kelly. I know what he's like. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We usually ask him. That'd be uh, interesting too, at least. He's a friend. I don't like, you know, I just. Yeah. Hmm. Look, sometimes in life, you've got to be grateful for what you've got. Yeah. Don't. Don't wish too hard. It might come true. <laughs> you know, I kind of like my stuff. Look, the thing about five is if I want to get a car, I could sell one off and get a... Right. I could... The cars are expensive in my country. I could borrow half, sell one. Be right back. As the, you know, it gives me more options. You put all your money into one like that. Ooh. How do you get out of it, you know? You have to lose a lot of money. But it is an end game watch. I tell you what, <laughs> it'd be such an end game watch. It'd be so Art, cool. Can I ask you? What sure. do you think is the best chronograph paddock ever made? Do you think it's the 5970? Well, that's a perpetual calendar chronograph. That's the yeah. Lamania too, you know. That's, yeah, it's that's... different, obviously. But I'm saying the greatest one that they ever made. Like, what's I, the best? I, I think the 2499. The 2499? Let's pull it up. Yeah, they're... they're... John Lennon had that white, <laughs> you know, 2499, I think is probably the greatest because after the 2499 was the 3970, it's actually a mm. bargain. It's actually probably the most difficult because mm. it's 36 mils and it's the 5970, they are amazing. Two four nine nine. What's the size on that arch? I think they're about forty. Forty mils, really? That's contemporary size to be. Oh yeah. Yeah. Looks like it. 
Yep. Actually, it might be. Okay. Yeah, it probably just wears a bit smaller. That's it's beautiful. an amazing beautiful But piece. I, I got to tell you, seriously, what I. 5970 is. Look at those lugs. Look at those sculpted yeah. lugs. Oh, my goodness. Hold on, that's a horrible. You know what? Picture. Sometimes you get can get greedy in life. Then you go <laughs> Tiffany signed in your face. <laughs> Damn. What is that? Half a million? It's a lot of money. Look, I, I gotta be honest with you. You know it's manual wine too, you know, that's not automatic. Yeah, it's it's incredible. Yeah, they're, they're, Arch, they're you know, we're looking this up on Tim's stream that a longer 1815, let's pull it up, it sells yeah. for like, what was it, 15,000 less than a 5170? Mm -hmm. Look at this, Arch. Oh, it's a lot, lot less. The 1815 right. chronograph. Yeah. My friend had this one. This is my favorite. This, this is my is favorite good. version, the boutique edition, but this one's a bit more expensive there. Because they have but the pulsation you... dial. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you get the non-boutique edition, they're actually pretty good bargains. Yeah, like uh, this one. I, right I don't have. I, I had a friend who actually had one. The super collector had one. He yeah. sold it to get a data graph. It, oh yeah, the platinum Daytona. You mean that? Then he sold uh, it to yeah. the platinum Daytona. No, I think he got it. Sold it. Yeah, I think he did actually. I don't wow. know why he sold it. It was a beautiful watch. I love it's it. It's incredible. Look at that movement arch. Hold on. Let me pull up the picture. Oh, my goodness. Pretty crazy. The longest. I really love the uh, white gold with the black dial. Look, the problem is <laughs> I can't go Lange because i got all the paddock stuff. You know, I, I, you either stay. You stay with one, don't you? Yeah. But, Arch, if you were starting over, which one would you go to? I Well, the... Putting price, putting price aside, right? Putting yeah. price aside, you just say this one is more beautiful than the other. I, can I give you my my opinion, Arch? Sure. I think that the cases and dials of Paddock are much better than Longa, but I think that the movement finishing is more visually beautiful from Longa. And they were the first. They were the first to develop in-house chronographs. I think you need a two to one ratio, two Pateks for every Longa. <laughs> the Langer, the problem with Langer is they're owned by Richmond, which I don't yeah. like. They're not, they're a Phoenix brand. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Is that like Blanc Pain? Blanc Pain was the oldest watch brand in history, but it was dead until the 60s when Jean Claude Beaver revived them, right? Phoenix mm, brand. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, look. That's a tough one. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I, I think you can't go wrong either. You, you know can't what? go wrong I reckon either. You could go one brand would be JLC's, another brand you could easily do that with. Uh, no. Vacheron is better, Arch. Vacheron is better than, than yeah, Drizzt. Vacheron's done things that really annoy me. You know, like yeah. the 56. That's cheap. Yeah, that's garbage. The Odysseus. And then why is the Come Gen on. 2 so less valuable than the Gen 3? I don't understand it. Everybody yeah. wants the new stuff, what's hot. Because the Chinese, they're, they're the ones who control that market. That's the reason. And I, I hate to be in a market where the Chinese are so dumb. Blue dials. It's all about the blue dial. See, but Arch, I'm surprised. I thought the Chinese had very small, Sorry? small wrists. I'm surprised that I thought the Chinese had very small wrists. Yeah, they, they pick up like these massive watches, no? Like I thought Asians were like more slender. They wore like slimmer watches. I, I thought they were wearing the them. dress watch market to begin with, not the sports watch market. Marco, I don't think they're wearing them. They're just getting them. Yeah, hoarding and possessing them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Stud Super. Muffin, $2. Can you pull up the 5070J? We just did before. Yeah, we did. Like we those did. Sec right. Seiko divers, you know, Grand Seiko divers. They're so big. Ooh, this one is really nice, too. Oh, that's With cool. the blue dust. Yeah. Mm. Is, it, is it 42 mil also? Yeah, yeah this, they're all 50, 70, 42 oh. mil. But you know what, guys? Sometimes you can get very greedy with your collections. You don't want to get too greedy. Arch, you know what I reckon? Forget Paddock. Just get a Nomos instead. Just get a Nomos. <laughs> you, know what I, you know what I was Crazy, curious man. what you think about? Um, the World Time, right? It's a pretty classic piece. 
Would you say you have to get that in like a rose gold or would you get it in white gold? Which which do you prefer the look of? Because I think it looks so much more modern with the white gold than like the rose or the yellow gold. The funny thing is, you know, the new one that's out there, I don't like the fact it doesn't have the crown guard protectors. Right. Mm. It doesn't have as I, much uh, of charm. a case. Right. It don't have the beefy case though either. I, I think personally, I reckon for someone like you, I'd get a 5130 because it's 39 and a half mils. It was the biggest, right. baddest world time they ever made and they're a bit soft right but do you market. but what color gold do you prefer like if they were all pretty much the same price it's do you funny think... you say that the rose and yellow gives it an antique feeling right that's what i'm saying it looks it, it's like a totally it kind of like a totally different watch the it's, white gold it's... looks so modern and the rose gold looks it so does. classic it it's does. almost like two different pieces it does you, you're so right there and <clears throat> but M3... i can't decide which i like better that's the problem M3, six speed, five bucks. Arch, I'm tempted to, to pay 18, 19K for a new Pepsi. Talk me out of it. I'm losing it. I don't think that's Ooh. terrible. If you want a Pepsi, I, I'd rather pay the Piper than to play the AD games. Mm. Just pay it. Your money's going to be pretty well safe. I enjoy it. Life's for enjoying. You know, what do you want to do in life? What are we here for? Why are we here? Can I ask you this? Why are we here? <laughs> to buy watches. You want to have a bit of fun. You've got to have... Look, it, it, it's all about moderation too. But, you know, a Pepsi... Is a Pepsi a terrible thing? Seriously. Is a Pepsi at 19 terrible? Oh, that's early. It's, it's a good bit. Uh, Carfun's asking, how does he get unbanned from super chatting? Yeah, I just asked him in the chat. I, I don't know if it's on our end. Right. I had a problem uh, on my end, which I just fixed. It was actually my password was not working. Mm. It wasn't letting me. My password I didn't to think uh, Car Fun was banned from anything. Car Fun has been such a loyal guy. Yeah. See, this uh, is why I find it hard to. This is why I find it hard to give these wrenches out because some idiots ban people, and then no, he's still in the chat. He's just typing that he can't. He can't super, super chat. chat. Right? Yeah. Oh, we got Lolex so... in the house. Hello, Lolex. Should I drop the link for him, Arch? Yeah, sure. Lolex. Lolex is cool. He's cool. I'm just going to have a look and see Carfun if he's banned there. Can I just check it out who is banned? Hmm. He also should check. Like, I was paying through PayPal and I had to reset my um, Apple password. Wasn't correct. That's why it wasn't letting me use it. No, he's it. not banned. He's I would just banned. recommend maybe. It says keep setting setting error fetching products. Maybe just refresh mm. the stream. It might just be that. It might just be that simple. Mm. It's all good, guys. It's all good. Thank we you love you all. Me. We love you all. So let's. I, I don't think we we uh, got to the end point of that uh, question. Which mm. would you Which would you buy, Arch? If you had to pick one, what is the Pontiff's decision? Do you go classic so or do you model? go modern? The world time, the, yeah, yeah. Do you 51 go the one thirty or a fifty two thirty? A uh, fifty one thirty. Do you go classic rose gold or do you go modern white gold? Okay, let me explain it to you. Okay, the way I've always done things is, you want a world time. It's whatever comes up at the good price. What's Same the price. Deal? Same price. The deal. What's got papers? What's got box and everything? Right. Right. So you're saying on an equal footing? On an equal, equal footing. I actually see them on an equal footing. I, I see two. Okay. okay. For a 5130. Right. My advice to you, I reckon the rose gold. I do too. And I'll tell you why. Because I want the 5205 in white gold. So it would at least yes. be two different. Two different colors right. there. <clears throat> Look, to be honest with you there, I think that watch has potential to become something special because it's the biggest, the baddest. It's like any of these big Rolexes. They're always the biggest, the baddest. They'll always have a special place in history. Right. Um, it's a great watch. 5130 is amazing. Absolutely amazing watch. I think the 5110 is probably nicer dial, but it's probably a bit small for you. Hey Doc, how's it going? Oh. Gentlemen, how you doing? Hey, we're about to wrap up, so you're just coming on in time. 
Well, you know, it's when they let me out of the morgue. What can I tell you? I gotta say, guys, Doc has got a big collection. And uh, he's never really sold much, do you? You don't really sell much or flip much, do you? No, I, I'm not. Re I don't really know how to go about even selling. I had one. I had one crapper that uh, something called an Epos. No one's ever heard of Swiss brand. And the watch crapped out before I had a chance to sell it. So I mean, so nothing broken. worth selling. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta say, I think for a lot of people, they should just what hold their stuff. He was trying to sell it and it died before he could sell it, but it's garbage. No one's gonna buy garbage. I mean, Doc has got re unrealistic expectations on, you know, if you don't want the watch, probably somebody else doesn't want it either. You know, if I would have held my Explorer 2 instead of selling it, I could have probably got at least 2,000 more if I would have waited another year. But, you know, life's like that. You can't just... I think I could just... be happy with what I've got. Mm. When was the last time you got a new watch, Doc? Oh, the hmm. No. When, when was the last time you got a new watch, Doc? What's up, Doc? And Lolex is on. Lolex <laughs> is on. Here he is. Hey, man, hey, what's Lolex. going on? I think my guys? signal sucks. Going? Are you going to the Porsche? Are you headed to the Batmobile? Yeah, I got to get something from my car right now. What's going on? <laughs> uh, I, think I, I think I have awful signal. Yeah, we can hear you, Rolex. Right mm. Okay, cool. Let's let's get a look at the we uh, the wheels. Let's see the wheels. Let's see, see the wheels. Get the wheels up on uh, the screen. Let's get. I want to see uh, this. Oh, where's he gone? I think he's got to turn the camera around. Okay, let's have a look at this. There it is. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Jeez. That's so my keys in my goddamn room. <laughs> <laughs> An idiot. Ooh, shouldn't show your license plate. Yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> uh, nobody's watching. And what's under the cover there? What's in the other one there? Oh, this is my sister's car. She's here for the week. What's she has a CLA. Name? It's a CLA. CLA. Okay. Yeah. Very beautiful. I, I've never used one of those covers. I feel like it would take forever to put on and take off. I think it scratches your paint. paint. I think it scratches yeah. your paint. Yeah. What is it for? It's ideal for it when you leave it out. When you leave it outside rather than in your garage, I, you know. I, mean? I think it's going to rain today. I think it's raining today in LA. It's pretty so well. I, well back to my I just wanted to come on and say what's up, guys. Hey, what's up? Great. Why would you take? Why would you put on a, a cover? It's a yeah. free wash in the rain, man. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no. I'm heading back to my place right now. I just came to see my parents for a little bit, but uh, talk to you guys later. I gotta get going. Okay, later, thank right. you, thank you, yeah, guys. We're about to wrap up this program. We've got two two minutes left. Wow, Start that's two minutes over my normal limit. <laughs> Do a live stream with your dad, Arch. Yeah, he's kind of. He, but I'm trying to get him into something. Okay. What kind of show is he gonna do? Sorry. What kind of show is he gonna do? Do you know? I yet? got no idea. I on accounting, Arch. Idea. Tell him. Tell him to do a show on personal finance. There you go. Maybe yeah, he's kind of. You know, I got He's just gotta. He's gotta do something. I'm, I want to try and help him do something. So he'll become the Graham Stephan of the uh, of the Boomers. The Boomers, yeah. According to uh, <laughs> rumors from Graham rumors Stephen. from Tim Wright, say that you're having problems with negotiations for the uh, the actor playing your father. We may have to get someone else. <laughs> yeah. Like Seinfeld, you know, when they switched. They switched actors on Seinfeld. No one really noticed. We can do that. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. That's exactly it. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up tomorrow. We got a, I got a show on tomorrow. Marcus, two pound, two euros thirty. Archie, what do you think of the Black Bay Bronze? 
I've never been a bronze fan, but I think the Tudor Black Bay is actually good bang per buck. When you compare it to the Panerai bronze, which goes for crazy, crazy, crazy money. So, um, By the guys, way, guys if we'll you, see you tomorrow. Oh. Thank you so oh. much for coming on. Go and, read Rich Sources. Bye bye. Bye, Bonds. Yes, go and check out timwright.com. And uh, excellent. See you later, guys. Take care.